Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 5. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Hey guys, it's your boy Drifty Man Maji here. And we're gonna be doing some drifty drifty in the Rampage Championship. Hang on, what's this? So we've got a uh, we've got a rally event to do. We got Trailblazer, which is a uh, new one. Uh, we got Reland Rush, and then we got two hidden ones, and also Monte Carlo for later on. So let's go to Finland, and we'll start off with our first event. Um, yo, I want to try open. <gasps> they got the McRae R4. Oh, but they've also got the Subaru Impreza, and that gives you more rep. Fuck it. We're going with the R. I'm going to take... Obviously, the Colin McRae R4 is like a monumental car. It was designed from well, the ground up to be a rally car. Your event. Let's see another podium. It was built as a rally car and then turned into a road car. That was the difference with the R4 compared to any other like rally car. Because the other rally cars were all road cars made into rally cars. But this one was a rally car that was made into a road car so they could use it. Alright, let's go. Over the bridge. This looks a lot more like um, Colin Cray Dirt 1. Um, the sort of style of the game. Like with Rallying, it's a little bit more serious but still very arcadey. Very good. I'm hoping as well after this, we should have enough time to be able to play Dirt 1 before Dirt 5 comes out, which would be really amazing if we could do that. Nice, nice. We are miles ahead. This car is quick. Very nice, very nice. Split time is looking very good through that section. Oh, we've gone a little bit too close there. Yeah, we've lost the front bumper. Not a problem. Doesn't really cause too much damage. Oh. Yeah, clip that curb again. The problem with this game was if you clipped a curb, you were gone. You were spinning. There was no control for you. Third place. Not great. Not great. Um, we are four seconds behind. Ouch. That hurts. Being four seconds behind. I think we should be able to regain that time. Hopefully. Four seconds shouldn't be too bad. We just can't crash at all. Right. Let's do this. Very good first corner there. Perfect. Those corners are really good today. I was sneaking trying to lose control then. Left 
We are eight seconds ahead at the moment, so there should be plenty of time to regain that. Oh, we are now only three seconds ahead. That's not good. Oh wait, no, that's for this next section. First place, 126.84. We're 11 seconds ahead. We've got that first place back. Well, it's a long season, but I like what I see. That was very good. That was lucky, that as well. One thousand rep, one thousand one hundred and five hundred rep. Right on to the next event, which is You've a trailblazer. In a new challenge. This is flat out huge, dude. Do well on this, and your driver rep is gonna go through the roof. Oh, smash attack. Okay. Okay. Trailblazer is the pinnacle of speed. Taking place on long, wide open tracks, you've got the perfect canvas to make your mark with the ultimate in off-road racing machines. Taming these lightweight vehicles is no easy feat, so make sure you're always on the right side of control. Just like Rally, the races are point to point with the times added across stages, so being the fastest driver is a good strategy for success. Okay, cool. And we're using Classic as well, so we've got either the um, Peugeot Pikes Peak, no, I think we're going to go with the Toyota Tacoma. Never actually heard of this one. Oh, I've seen it though. You brought the car in clean last time. It's ready to go when you are. That looks menacing. That looks insane. Look at the wing on that. That is a big wing it looks really flat and like it looks too flat to be a road car uh, uh, Pikes Peak off road car it looks way too flat ah uh, you can feel the speed look at it off road as well that is quick off road There we go. We've got one objective, so that's 550 rep there. Easy. Tap of the handbrake probably could have helped us there, to be honest. Very nice. Slow down. Round the corner. Onto tarmac now. This is interesting, it's going really well tran uh, transferring from surface to surface. The sort of change in terrain isn't messing the car up too much. It is very quick though, very quick. Oh, that's the finish line. I wasn't even paying attention to where it was. Right, let's continue. Right, so I think this one is actually a time-based kind of thing for the objective. Very good, very good. Be careful on those curbs, though. We need to try and stay away from those curbs, preferably. Oh, Ooh, very good. Split time 23 seconds, two and a half seconds faster than second place. Good, good, good. Finland is such a nice looking place in this game, honestly.
place. There's an Audi Quattro in front of us. I didn't realise how long this car was though. Oh, we've gone way too fast there. We went way too fast. Still came first though, 142.042. It's a very nice time actually. I've come to expect nothing less. Yeah, how's the view from the podium? It's a very nice view actually. The podium's a very nice place to be. Driver rep, 1,000, 1,100, and 500 for our unused flashbacks. Right, what is the next race? Land Rush. Hey, okay, you've qualified for the final. I know it's still early in the season, but you've already put us on the map in a big way. What can I say? You're a rock star. The final's another head to head. What is it with head to heads in this? Oh, but. Truck time. I like the trucks. Ah, uh, just look at this. I, d I don't actually know if this um, track is in daytime at all. I think there are a couple of daytime races, but this just looks amazing at night time. Oh, ah, oh, we've overshot it. We overshot that corner way too far then. We've got some catching up to do. Nice. Ah. Keep it close. Keep it on the inside. Ah, we went a bit too wide there. I didn't like that. Oh. Right up the hill. Big jump. And we've done the jump total distance mission as well, so that is good. Got a little bit of extra prep there. Ah, oh, you are close to behind me. Oh! My controller, the cables come out. That's not good. Ah! I'm having trouble with my controllers at the moment. Um, with the batteries that I've got in, they don't last longer than like 20 minutes before they die. Uh, which is a little bit frustrating because I found out the hard way in a live stream last night and I had to use batteries again. Which, to be honest, batteries is so much better than having an internal battery in like PS4s and that. Just because of the fact that you can swap them out for a different pack, but like, it's just a little bit frustrating when it dies completely. Especially because my controller doesn't come up with a guild controller battery on my message anymore. Nice. Perfect. Ah, come on. Come on. Nice, nice. Right, here's the jump. Fly like an eagle. And across the line.
Aspen's a challenging course. I'm very impressed. That is very Indeed. good. You came, you saw, you whooped its ass. <laughs> you whooped its ass. How do games get away with that? Like, nowadays, you wouldn't get away with saying that in a game. Like, uh, unless it was rated 18. Oh, good. Right, on to Smash oh, Attack no. now. It's the robot invasion. Smash the robots, save the day, and we'll make sure the world knows you did it. All in a day's work, right? <laughs> I've never actually done this before. Rampage. Oh, what car is that? Ah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and it's you got really the number 69 on, on it as well. Last time out, mate. Every other driver's got their eye on you now. Yeah, every other driver's got their eye on me. Look at those little robots. Hoonigan. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. The building's a minus one point. Okay, that's interesting. Destroying the killer robots. Okay, we got silver. I'll take that for now. A silver medal. What a day. What a day. Woo! And there we go, level nine. Very nice. Kenwood Racing. Ooh. I never understood why Kenwood did racing, because I swear they do kitchen appliances. Which is a very weird thing. But we are now onto the Rampage final. Three rounds, so we got to do three races of this. And what vehicles have we got to offer? So we've got ourselves the RS500, or the Opal Manta, or... Do you know what? I want to give the Mini Cooper S a try. Right, let's do this. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, this is such a little car. It's almost like a comedian's car. Like, you can imagine a full-on comedy show based around it. This car is literally a joke on wheels. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, you know what? We're going to uh, rewind that quickly. We're going to try again from here. Go, go, go! Much better. Oh, very wide there. We are very even though here. 120 down through building. 80. Right four opens. And now we've just taken a load of time off. 80. Right four tightens to three. Under bridge. 40. Care over big jump. How come we didn't gain any time until we started going down that road again? Oh, very close to the wall there. Very good there. Johnny isn't catching up so far, which is good. And let's go across the line. 
Woo! 158.192. Right, continue on to round number two. 205, we got to beat again. We can do this. Right. Who are we against? Oh, another Mini Cooper. Oh, that's quite a nice color. Blue and yellow. How are we in second, though? <gasps> this guy's called Craig, too. He's called Craig Stewart, though. Hey, I'm not the only Craig in this game, then. <laughs> Get the get some more time. Get some more distance. Very close to the inside ball there though. Ah One twenty down through building. Right, we have messed it up a little bit. Eighteen. Right four opens. Eighteen. Right four opens. Right, three. Right, come on. That spin has messed us up a little bit. But it looks like we're doing okay. Right, we are doing okay. We are doing okay. And across the line. Very nice. 202.564. Right, continue. Right, on to the final round. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We've taken out the Craig glow. Oh, I'm sad now. We took Craig out. We wiped him out. Knocked out the championship forever. But on to the final race. 104 miles an hour we need to hit. I think that's said. Which I think the only spot we can do it is on the next lap. Oh, we're on the other side. So we're starting on the... This side, the outside first. We're starting on the jump section. Fair enough. Here, over big jump. Big jump. Woo, that was very close. Come on, come on, come on. Right, and across the line onto the second one. Hopefully we can get that 104. There we go, 104 miles an hour. That'd be enough to ruin the car though. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up that speed. We need more speed. Here we go, final corner, tap of the handbrake. Finish or crest flat. Woo! 
159.5. I think that was the fastest lap out of all of them. And that is it. First place. Nice. Nine. Awesome. Right, on to the final race. Well, that was the final, but we're on to the Monte Carlo DLC now. And we're going to be taking Pro, I think, for this one. We're going to take the Citroen C4 WRC. Right, so what we need to do is we need to reach a speed of 90 miles an hour at some point of the track. Citroen Racing. Look at that car, though. It's kind of surprising, though, that they chose the C4 oh, as a rally car. It's quite a big car to be a rally car. You would maybe expect maybe the DS3. Like, if they picked the Citroen DS3 Racing as a rally car. Though, to be fair, the DS3 is probably more suited towards Rally Cross. Rather than Rally itself. Oh, that corner was very slow. Not good. This is nice, though, using... Oh, tap the handbrake, come on. Nice. Forty onto turn. Left five. Right six. Forty. Awesome. Okay, left. Right, slow in, slow in, slow in. Right, right let's pick the speed back up. in that corner there. I do love the look of Monte Carlo though. This is such a nice stage. It almost reminds me a little bit of Croatia from Dirt 2. Where you had the sort of cliff edges and all that. The really large cliff edge. And across the line. I didn't even see the finish line come in. It's too busy enjoying the track. Ken Block came sixth. That is really surprising, to be honest. Ken Block isn't amazing in this game, though. I mean, Ken Block's prime in rallying was, like, back in 2009 when Dirt 2 came out. And then after that, it just went downhill for him. Oh, look at that, though. We're going to be going through a really cool looking cave. I don't think we've done this route yet. So. But there are, I think, eight stages. And they're all quite long. So. Right, let's do this. Right, we need to. There's some tight corners up ahead, so we need to keep an eye out for these. Alright, we got a hairpin right and a hairpin left coming up. Very nice. Right, slowing down. Right, careful of the bridge. Yes, lovely. Right, keep it slow. Come on, car, out of the way. Nice, slow down, slow down. Come on. Perfect. Yeah, 
Yes, that is very good there. Bit of contact there on the side as well. But look at Another that finishing podium. position. Your driver rep and profile will get a big boost. Very good, very nice. And let's see how much rep we got. Sweet. A very good rep paycheck there. Congratulations. You've been invited to compete at the Oakley Pro Invitational. This is big. The Invitational is super competitive, but do well here in the next stop in the Summer X Games. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button in the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord, where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.